EPRI is unique. It's the only organization where um, utilities from across the country and actually across the globe contribute research dollars. Duke and EPRI have worked together for over 40 years. And a utility is really not an entity that's going to spend a lot of money on research. It's just not in our risk profile. But through EPRI, we can spend a dollar on research and we get $15 of research in return. So that's a pretty nice multiplier. EPRI was originally funded as a virtual lab. And what I mean by that is that we have offices here in Charlotte and we're able to connect with offices all throughout the country. EPRI employees come from all over the world and all walks of life. You'll find people like myself from industry, people from academia, people from um, different organizations similar to EPRI. So we know the problems in the industry. But in addition, twice a year, we meet with our customers and we get their input. I became very much involved in EPRI because EPRI was founded by the industry in response to a need for that kind of research organization to help uh, guide the future of the industry. EPRI truly is unique. Um, when I was in the UK, I couldn't find any organization that I would consider to be the parallel of EPRI. There just simply wasn't one. I found a lot of us in the UK and on the continent that actually used EPRI programs that were members and benefited from it. EPRI has been absolutely marvelous at being able to marshal great technical resources and help the industry solve problems. They are trusted because they deal in fact and that they are a trusted uh, source of information and that's critically important. I know I would send routinely I would send employees to EPRI conferences and they participated in EPRI programs. And we were an active supporter. We paid, we paid our dues, our membership, fees to EPRI, and it was worth every cent. EPRI was drawn to the Charlotte region approximately three decades ago because it was a growing energy cluster. I've been able to see how EPRI has grown in the Charlotte region from one building and a small number of employees to three large complex buildings with over 200 employees. EPRI offers some unique benefits to the Charlotte region. Uh, EPRI does research for the entire electric power industry from around the country. So we see people coming in and out of Charlotte from all over the United States. And it's ju not just the United States. So we're also seeing research and development coming in from around the globe. It offers companies like Ariva the ability to partner and work on problems, uh, not just local but global issues. And it's also gaining insights into new technologies and helping us develop and formulate new business strategies and innovations. When you consider EPRI's mission and what EPRI is trying to do, it draws a certain type of individual that's looking to do that good, that wants to do, that wants to do good for all of mankind, you know, not just a specific company. And you'll see these employees out there doing work with veterans groups, youth athletic leagues, and other charities throughout the Charlotte region. I'm really grateful that EPRI is willing to do this kind of thing with high school students. So the kids are exposed to someone who actually is working as a professional in, in a field similar to what they're learning about in the classroom. A lot of my students are at least sophomores. Some of them are juniors and seniors, and they need to be thinking about, you know, what am I gonna do with the rest of my life? And when they're exposed to people in various career occupations that gives them a view of, of a choice. Our goal ought to be for high school education is to not only expose them to real world questions, but to ask them to actually think about how you would answer those questions given all the various constraints. The EPRI people have been very valuable to my students because it gives my students an example of people working in the real world and answering real questions that my students will have to answer someday probably, or at least deal with the consequences. The energy industry, the electricity industry, in my view, is poised for transformation. Uh, that's driven in part by market changes. It's driven in part by technology. So there are challenges. For us to turn those challenges into opportunities, we're gonna need great partners like EPRI. And so I think uh, having EPRI here uh, near us is gonna be really beneficial to us as we meet these challenges.